Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably show you something with the uh, org mode LaTeX. Now I have been uh, trying to get the most out of uh, org mode LaTeX export capabilities and it has been working really nice for me. Now one thing that you may want to do is uh, if you have your org file with some code snippets or actual code, you also want to display it in your uh, PDF, right? And I, I really want to do it because uh, that is my requirement. Now the problem is that uh, when you export your code in your PDF using a LaTeX export, it might not wrap. And it's a very common thing. And uh, when I searched online, I found a solution. For example, if you look at this particular piece of code, so this particular piece of code is actually looking fine on the on the PDF. But sometimes if you have like a long, uh, let us say path without spaces, or maybe if you have text which is going beyond uh, the width of your uh, of your uh, uh, page, then it will go uh, outside the boundary and it won't look nice. In fact, uh, it will basically uh, ruin the code. Someone will not be able to code or follow the code. For example, if you look at this curl command, I'm not sure if you're able to see it or not. Let me try to zoom in if I can. Control X, Control Plus. Yep. So if you look at uh, this particular uh, like this particular piece of code, so this particular piece of code is uh, nothing but a curl command, which uh, is uh, of course in my code. And when you're using org mode, you can wrap things. But when it comes to PDF, you want to make sure that PDF also wraps it. So there is a if you're doing it by, by default, it won't wrap. And uh, there is uh, a way to do it. And I, I did some research online and, and I found a couple of solutions. And I've, I'm yet to improve it further because the code, which is out, which is in the PDF file is, uh, although it is wrapped, but it is not really following any syntax highlighting or any colors, which is not massively looking good. I really want to improve it a bit more. So I found a way actually to do it using uh, like some changes to my init file. So I'll just open my init file and I'll show you what I'm trying to do here with my with my init file. So this solution is actually something which I found uh, on uh, Stack Overflow, I believe. So this is the this is the part that will actually improve this. So what you need to do is you need to basically use this package called listings and uh, uh, basically this is like this package should be there in your uh, in your uh, in your uh, uh, org in your emacs it should be out of the box i believe uh, because i i didn't really install any package so if you install this uh, basically if you add this uh, in your uh, init file and then uh, you also have to ensure that you have this uh, break line set to true. Then, uh, then, then make sure you reevaluate or evaluate it before, or maybe restart your uh, Emacs, and then try to export it again. Then it will work. So this is something. This is something that I thought uh, you also may want to do, in case you are trying to use Emacs to generate PDF files, and uh, if you if your Emacs or if you're not Emacs, but if your org file has some code, then it will be nicely wrapped. But next step is you need to wrap it along with the color syntax highlighting, which I will do. And I will, of course, like always share it with all of you. All right, that is it. Small video, but uh, I'm sure you, I'm sure you learned something, right? All right, that is it. Bye bye.